the Chester of Arts is next. This is a trial for next week's derby. And Albus Dumbledore is at the top. So group three for three-year-old Colts. And Albus Dumbledore is at the top for Dan Hughes. Altitude for Munas. Carmelian for Dan Hughes making its debut. Grand Forks Mountain. Vinnie Gerard. Chaos Theory. Paul Rhodes. Kind of Magic. Jim Murray. Kyber Pass. Paul Rhodes. Noble Confused for Munas. Shaw Grease. James Shea. Time of the Beast. Joshua Sutherland, Tower of Strength, Jim Murray, Trapped Miles, Darren Thompson, and Wassily Kandinsky for Leon Van Rensburger. Field of 13, then. And away they go. And Albus Dumbledore, the grey over on the rail, is the first one to show. The other grey gone with it is Grand Forks Mountain, but now the one at the centre of the track is going to take it up and get across to the fence as well. It's Time of the Beast. So, Time of the Beast has gone on there and has quickly gone three to four lengths clear of kind of magic who's now moved through into second then come the two greys that were quickly out and they've now been passed by quite a few of them looking towards the back altitude is the current back marker but they're quite well strung out already here and time of the beast is five lengths clear the jim Murray pair second and third now tower of strength and kind of magic then comes Kyber Pass. Wassily Kandinsky is the one widest on the track. Then Grand Forks Mountain and Chaos Theory. Albus Dumbledore is now tucked back in mid division with his stable companion, another grey Carmelian, chasing him. Then Trap Miles on the inside. Noble confuses after that, and the back two are Shaw Grease and finally Altitude. But they've got seven furlongs still to go in this one. And Time of the Beast. Is in the lead, leading by a good four to five lengths from Wassily Kandinsky on the outside of Tower of Strength. Then Kyber Pass tucked in behind them in fourth with Kind of Magic and Chaos Theory next. Now it's Dumbledore and then Grand Forks Mountain. Trap Miss is after that one with Carmelian. And Time of the Beast leads still, but only by three now to Wassily Kundinsky on the outside of Kyber Pass. Tower of Strength is still there now. Grand Forks mounting the ground on the outside. He's being driven up to come through to challenge for the lead, but just being eased back there by the jockey. Albus Dumbledore's also been pulled out for a run, so too is Chaos Theory. And Trap Miles on the rail is trying to make a bit of ground as well, but it's Time of the Beast who leads as they head down to the three furlong mark. And it's Time of the Beast who passes the three furlong pole in the lead from Wassily Kundinsky in second. Grand Forks mounting and Albus Dumbledore Dumbledore, Kyber Pass is next. Tower of Strength on the inside. Chaos Theory and Trap Miles trying to run on, but they've got to get to this. Time of the Beast who's still two to three lengths clear with less than two to go now. Time of the Beast is still clear from Grand Forks Mountain. Wassily Kandinsky and Albus Dumbledore. There's less than a furlong to go now, and Time of the Beast is in the lead. Time of the Beast from Grand Forks Mountain. They're doing like they're catching him at the moment. Time of the Beast still in the lead for Josh Sutherland, and it looks like Time of the Beast is going to stake his claim for next week's derby. Time of the Beast takes it comfortably from from Grand Forks Mountain, Tower of Strength, Cabra Pass, then Albus Dumbledore, Trap Miles, Run on Run Altitude was the last one to finish, and nothing got anywhere near the winner. A pretty easy win, really. Easy win, as you can expect to see in a trial. And that one's got to go in quite a few people's notebooks for next week. Time of the Beast, Joshua Sutherland takes it. From Tower of Strength, Jim Morrig up to be second. Grand Forks Mountain for Vinnie Gerard was third. Kyber Pass for Paul Rhodes fourth. And Albus Dumbledore for Dan Hughes was back in fifth.